This short express class is going to be one where we really focus on the hips. We're going to bring in a little bit of body awareness, but really work on our hip mobility. If you like this video, you have to make sure you check out our website, swimmingspecificyoga.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also sign up for our newsletter so you can get updated on the great new content we're putting out there on a regular basis. So we're going to come on to our backs. So just starting on our backs, we're going to bring a little bit of gentle opening into the hips. So bring the soles of the feet together, the knees out wide. So recline, but recline butterfly pose. Bring the arms to cactus. So just 90 degrees at the elbows, 90 degrees at the shoulders. Allow the palms to point towards the sky. And then here, just begin to breathe through the nose. Bring a little bit more awareness to your breath. And on every inhale, really feeling your abdomen expand, ribs widen and chest rise. And on your exhale, just have a feeling of letting go. Then, as you build your breath, I invite you to bring your awareness into the body. Move through a body scan. Simply notice how the body feels. Remember, don't expect what you're going to notice. Don't judge what you do notice. Just really respect what the body is telling you. Then keep the arms in that cactus position. Bring the soles of the feet flat on the ground, mat distance apart. We're going to come into the opposite rotation in the hips. So allow the knees just to drop in against each other. We're coming into that internal rotation now in the hips. We're going to stay here for about two breaths. Once again, just gradually building the breath, expanding a little more on every inhale, letting go on every exhale. Now, bring the arms to the sides of the body with the palms facing the sky. What I want you to do as we do this movement is see if you can keep the pelvis stable. You might even bring the hands on either side of the hips. You want both sides of your seat to stay down here. As you exhale, drop the knees to the right and just turn the gaze to the left. So your left hips internally rotating, your right hips externally rotating. We keep the pelvis stable, so we're really coming into the hip joint rather than moving the pelvis. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Inhale, back to center. And one more time, each side. Exhale, knees to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Inhale, come back to center and then bring your feet hip distance, heels directly under the knees. Bend the elbows so the elbows are at a 90 degree angle with fingertips pointed towards the sky, palms pointed towards each other. Make sure those feet are pointed straight forward, feel into big toe mound, little toe mound, inner and outer side of the heel. Press strongly into the arms so you feel the back engage. And then inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips up and off the ground so you come into a back bridge. So now here, we're engaging and really stabilizing through the glutes, the muscles in the seat, and we're also stretching and extending the hip flexors. Now here, see if you can find a little bit more strength in the glutes. Just simply notice, without actually moving your feet, Feel like you're turning the heels in towards each other. What happens there? The exhale, feel like you're turning your heels away from each other. And how does that change things? Then on your next exhale, you're going to slowly lower the hips all the way down to the ground. Going to inhale, bring your right knee in towards the chest. Hold on to the shin. Exhale, extend your left leg long and just place it down on the ground. Just guide that right knee in towards the chest, maybe the armpit, all dependent on your range. Gently kick through the left heel, extending that left leg. You might feel a stretch in the hip flexors on the left side. You might feel sensation through the hamstrings, the glutes, or the back on the right. Inhale, bring the left knee in. Hold on to your left shin. Exhale, extend your right leg long. Heel down, toes curled. Once again, draw that left knee in. Work with your range. Gently kick through the right heel. How does this side feel different than the last? 
Inhale, bring that right knee in again. Hold on to the shin. Exhale, extend the left leg long. Bring the heel down. Same aspects, make sure the toes are curled and pointed towards the sky. This time, hold on to the back of the right leg. Exhale, extend the right leg so we find length coming through the hamstrings. Maybe experiment with the positioning of that foot, curling the toes or maybe pointing the toes away. And just really noticing how that creates differences in what you feel in the pose. One more breath here. Inhale, bring both knees into the chest. Hold on to your left shin. Exhale, extend your right leg long. Heel down, toes curl. Hold on to the back of the left thigh. And then exhale, lengthen that left leg long. Remember, you might experiment with the positioning of the foot. But really notice how this side feels different than the last. And breathe. Inhale, bringing both knees in to the chest. Just hold on to the shins for a breath. Exhale, release the legs. Allow the soles of the feet to come down to the ground. Once again, heels underneath, hip distance apart, arms to the sides of the body, 90 degree angle at the elbows. Point the fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, press into the arms. Inhale, press into the four corners of the feet, coming back into our back bridge. Now, you're more than welcome to stay here. If you want, I'm gonna invite you to come into a little bit of a balance. Make sure your hips stay high and even. Now, press into the right arm and strongly into the left foot. On the inhale, lift the right foot, extend the right leg long, keep the knees even, really press into the right arm and the left foot, keeping those hips high. Exhale, slowly lower the right foot down, press into the left arm, right foot, Inhale, lifting the left foot, extending the leg, keeping the knees even, strong into that right hip. Exhale, slowly lower the foot, slowly lower the seat all the way down to the ground. On your inhale, bring your right ankle onto your left thigh. Allow your right hip to externally rotate, curl your toes back towards your shins, make sure your hips are even. Okay, now if you feel enough sensation in your right hip here, stay here. If you want to feel a little more, inhale, bring the left knee in towards the chest, hold on to the back of the left thigh. If that foot is elevated, curl the toes back towards the shin. Staying here for two breaths. Inhale, expand through the body. Exhale, letting go. Now, Keep the ankle exactly where it is. On your exhale, release that left leg. Bring the right knee in towards the chest like we have before. Extend the left leg long, heel down, toes curled. Bring your right arm out wide like an airplane wing, palm down, left hand to the outside of the right knee or thigh. And then slowly guiding that right knee over towards the left side, coming into a twist. It's okay for your neck, turn the gaze to the right. Make sure that right shoulder is really grounded. Staying here for two breaths. Inhale, opening. Exhale, really letting go. Inhale, gently come back to center. Bring both knees into the chest just for a breath. Exhale, release the legs. Inhale. Left ankle, right thigh, once again, toes curled, hips even. Maybe you stay here, maybe you bring that right knee in, holding on to the back of the thigh. Okay, notice how the sides feel different. But see if you can stay away from thinking is one is, and one is good, or one is bad, one is weak, or one is strong. And breathe. Remember, keep the ankle where it is. The exhale, release the right leg. Inhale, left knee comes in towards the chest. Exhale, extend right leg long. Heel down, toes curled. Left arm comes out wide like an airplane wing. Right hand to the outside of the left knee or thigh. Exhale, gently come into a twist. And if it's okay for your neck, turn your gaze to the left. Keep that left shoulder grounded. Notice how the sides differ without judgment and breathe.
Inhale, come back to center. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Hold on to the shins. Now we'll stay here for a couple of breaths. I want you to listen to your body. What's it telling you? Do you want to stay still? Do you want to move? Okay, trust your intuition. Trust what the body is telling you. And then eventually coming to stillness. Release the legs. Allow the soles of the feet to come back down to the ground. Bring the soles of the feet together. Your knees come out wide and bring your arms to cactus. So we're coming right back to where we started. And I invite you to come back to that breath. And once again, move through a body scan. How have things changed? How's your body responded? And how's your mind responded? And then just extend your legs out in front of you long on the ground, about mat distance. The arms to the sides of the body with the palms facing up straight towards the sky, coming into your Shavasana pose. Now, if you have more time, feel free to stay here for as long as you wish, really soaking in the benefits of your practice and allowing yourself to relax and let go. If this is the end of your practice, I invite you to end it with one shared breath. Empty in the lungs. Inhale together. Exhale, release. Thank you for joining me. I can't wait to see you again.